came on the property here, I was actually amazed at how similar this Portuguese climate is to Phoenix, except for they have a lot more rain here. So you'll see cactus growing like nopales, nopalitos. You'll see some date palms growing, even though they claim that the date palms get attacked by a bug that kills them. Maybe that's because of the too much moisture in the air. But Kirsten's growing a lot of edibles here in the garden. I'm gonna bring her in to speak some German with us and identify some of the plants for us, but they have some nice irises going on here. Even though I'm not gonna eat this one, it's still a beautiful welcoming host for the garden. She is growing all of her garden in the ground, not using raised beds, but she is using Hugo culture, and I'll let her say it in a little bit. It's the German word where they kind of grow in mounds, and they grow on the sides of the mound and the top of the mound. So let's go over a few of the key zones she has here in her garden, and also we'll go over uh, two of the key pests that she is heartbroken about because they're eating and taking over her garden. Let's get started. We have three things to talk about in this zone. Number one is rosemary, which grows amazing here. It seems like rosemary grows amazing everywhere. It smells so good. Behind the rosemary is uh, an edible leafy green called New Zealand spinach. And this one I've had a lot of success with growing. It's kind of got a little bit of a tang to it and very healthy for you. It's also very invasive. If you leave it unattended, it will take over the entire garden, so be careful. And third, we have their watering system. So they have unlimited free water here because of their well that is pumped out of the ground from only about 50 meters, not that deep at all, with solar. They have a solar powered uh, generator that's running off the sunlight. So not only is their finca or their farm getting the light from the sun, but they're also getting all their energy from the sun and they're getting all their water from the sun. So pretty cool. So they're watering their garden with these sprinkler heads that shoot the water everywhere. And that potentially could be one of the reasons why they're having a lot of weed problem, which is one of their two problems I'll talk about in a second. It's May right now. This is a transitional time of the year for them. It's like spring turning into summer. It just rained last night. It's actually not that warm outside right now. So they're having a rotation of crops. They're winter greens like this arugula that has the beautiful flowers. And they're very smoky and delicious. I love the arugula flowers. But they also have planted out some of their summertime crops like their zucchinis and some melons that they have all over the property here. And they use a lot of hay. They have unlimited amount of mulch because they just have grass and wildflowers and weeds growing nonstop 24 seven. And part of the work I've been doing here as a woofer during this trip to Portugal has been to uh, clear cut acres of their land with a weed whacker because it's just six to eight feet tall. So they're taking all the dead mulch from that weed whacking and they're using it to insulate their soil. And I love this. All their beds here feel very spongy and look really good and the plants are growing very well through them. So in this section we have some lemon balm and this is growing really healthily here. It smells great. We have some leeks and strawberries growing together here in the back and these guys have big leaves and are putting off nice sized strawberries with the hay being used as a mulch. Okay now we are with Kirsten. Thank you for the tour of the garden. And she's going to lead us through in German and show us some of the plants that she's planted here in the garden. Yeah, this is this, uh, this is Rosmarin. Good Großer Busch. And this is Neuseeländischer Spinat. Here is uh, Aronia. Aronia Beere. A kleine Paprika. Oh, Tomaten. Basilikum. Passt gut zu Tomaten. Eine Kartoffel. Hier eine Kartoffel, da eine Kartoffel. Das werden Zucchinis, hoffentlich. What is this one called? Das ist äh, rote oder schwarze Johannisbeere. Hmm. Und das auch und das auch. You said so Johannisbeere. Johannisbeere. Oh, yeah. Johannisbeere. Wundervolle Salatköpfe. Looks so good. Mm -hmm. Looks really good. Yes. Aubergine. Oh, another aubergine. Yes, aubergine. Mm -hmm. Brennnessel. Sehr what gesund. is this one? Brennnessel. Oh, a brennnessel? For smoothie. Hmm. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yes. You have the trellis. 
<laughs> for for your peas or what do you have? This? Yeah. The tomato. Zitronengras. Mm -hmm. Thymian. Salbei. Yeah, the paprika. Ah, the paprika. Paprika. Yeah. Then so the großen red. Yeah. Wow. Hmm. So, what are your favorite plants in the greenhouse? You're growing some babies. <laughs> What are the what are what are these ones you're planting here? Das uh, ist Rucola. Ist die Arugula. Rucola? Arugula. Das auch. Mhm. Mm Eine andere Sorte. Mhm. Mm. And then how about inside here? Aronia. Oh. Aronia Beere. Mhm. Mm. Hier und hier. Mhm. Mm ja. And the pots back here. Das ist Tabak. Physalis. The Physalis is my favorite. Yes. Yeah. Nochmal Tabak. Mhm. Mm. So do you smoke it or what do you no, do with no, it? No, 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 <laughs> no. For decoration. Yes, yes, yes. And these ones inside here? Yeah, yeah, those are little blümchen. Also, this is uh, Sonnenblume, Sunflower. Oh, yes, yes, yes. yes. Uh -huh. This is to Tomaten, mm -hmm. Fleisch, uh, vegane Fleischtomate. Oh, okay, special one. <laughs> And this one? is um, Tagetes. Here, this is... Oh, yes, it's the... We say the marigold, but it's called what? Studentenblume. Studentenblume. Auf Deutsch, yeah. Tagetes. Hmm. A tagetes. Tagetes, yeah. Hmm. You're trying out these fruit trees. So this one. Orange. Mm -hmm. Tree. Uh, lemon. Mm -hmm. Citrone. Citrona. Citrona. The lemon. Lemon. Mm -hmm. yes, lemon. Feige. And maul. Which is the mulberry. Maul, yeah. Or the maul. Maul beere. Mm -hmm. uh, so Maul. it's the Maul, uh -huh. a Bera. Bera. Nice. Berry. Yes. yes. And so you are going to plant these out in the yard. Yes. Uh, this year or next year? Uh, this year in the aunt. So the melon, the melon. The melon, the uh, yellow melon, the honey melon. Yes. This. And this uh, the green, big green. Mm. Um, water melon. It's the watermelon. Mm -hmm. How do you say it in Deutsch the Wasser Melone. Uh, Wasser Wasser Melone. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And you have some parsley over here or what is the Yes. Mm -hmm. How do you how do you say it? Peter Silie. Peter Silia? Yeah, Silie. Peter Silia. And mm. this is Dill. Yes. Dill. So thank you, Kirsten. Uh Danke schön. Bitte for, schön. Yeah. <laughs> for the tour. It's beautiful. Mm -hmm. And uh, thank you for your hospitality and for all the food and for all the garden and everything. Yes. yes. So a couple other things I'm really excited about in this garden is like the nasturtium flowers that they have just growing everywhere with the mint. They're utilizing the different areas of the garden for companion planting, putting things together. Over here we have a really cool tomato cage done the traditional way where we have the tomato trellis, tomatoes at the bottom of each one as they grow up bigger. They'll use this as infrastructure for the tomato plants to keep them from breaking off and falling over. And there are a few more things out there I'm excited about, including the Hugo culture, or we say the Hugo culture. I don't know how to say it. Kirsten's doing a really great job of companion planting. She has the tomatoes with the potatoes, with the cabbages, with the celery, and she's growing on the top and the sides of this Hugo bed. And she even has some nice cucumbers in here that look like they're doing pretty well. And as all good gardens have, even little weeds like down here, we have the purslane weeds. Mm, there's my omega-3 fatty acids for the day. All right, guys, a little B-roll for you guys who stuck around to the end. This is 10 minutes later. We did a little bit of weeding in here and a little bit of spring cleaning in the Novotero garden run by Kirsten and it's looking good. Less weeds, less vampires sucking the nutrients from the edible plants that we love.